Hey there students. Here's a quick video to show you how to do a couple of things for chapter 3, section 3 in StatCrunch. Namely, to be able to make the graph of a box plot uh, that matches a choice in the problem, and of course to also get the five number summary that the box plot would be based on. So the problem states that the following are the ratings of males by females in an experiment involving speed dating. And we have these numbers listed here. Use the given data to construct a box plot and identify the five number summary. So we're going to have to do both of these. And then the first thing they're asking for is the five number summary. Um, but in StatCrunch, when you make a box plot based on a five number summary, it also shows you the five number summary. So we can use that one tool to do both things here. So I'm going to click on the little blue box and open this in StatCrunch. And so then I have the data as a column in StatCrunch and a box plot is a kind of a graph. So I'm going to go to the graph tab and box plot is a few items down the list. So I click on box plot to bring up that tool. I select the column that the data is in. Now there's a couple of options here that I'm going to point out. One is there's an automatic check here in the tool to identify outliers and the graphs that the book provides and that the problems provide typically do not identify outliers. <clears throat> when you identify outliers in a box plot that's actually called a modified box plot. A regular box plot does not do that. Um, the default in StatCrunch is a modified box plot where they've identified outliers. So to match what the problem wants, I'm going to unselect or deselect that. Then secondly, by default, StatCrunch makes the, the box plots vertically up and down, um, whereas the, the problems from the computer and in the book are usually making them horizontally. So I'm going to select draw boxes horizontally. And that's it. And then I'm going to compute. But just as a summary, I selected the column in the box plot tool. I unselected the outliers option and I'm selecting the draw horizontally option and then I compute. So it makes this picture of a box plot. So the first thing the problem wants is the five number summary. So if I hover my mouse over the box plot, it shows me the five number summary. Again, the five number summary is the minimum, Q1, the median, Q3, and the max, and those are all listed here. So for this problem, it looks like 3, 4, 4.5, 5.5, 8.5. So let me put those values in. 3, 4, 4.5, 5.5, and 8.5, I believe. Let me double check that. 4.5, 5.5, and 8.5. That looks right. So now we're supposed to choose the correct box plot. So I want to find the one that looks like this one here. Now the ones on the, um, the computer problem as offerings are very sort of short. So I'm going to squish this down just to help it look more like the ones there because you can, you can stretch or scale the graph in StatCrunch as you like. Then I can see the starting value for the Q1 is at 4 and over here it's below 4. This one's at 4. This is below 4. This one's above 4. So the only one of these four where the Q1 is at 4, which is the value of Q1 in our five number summary, looks like a C. And so I could look at other things, but that's the only one that matches on that on Q1. So that's it. And there you go. So hopefully that uh, quick little video will give you what you need to come up with a five number summary and a box plot using StatCrunch.